I'd like to welcome the 2009 NCAA Division II National Champion Concordia University St. Paul Golden Bears, champions of the Central Region and the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference. A few notes on the Golden Bears. With tonight's National Championship win, they become the first NCAA Division I or Division II program to win three consecutive national title titles in the sport of volleyball. They finished their 2009 season a perfect 37-0 and have extended their Division II record winning streak to 74 matches. Representing the Golden Bears are head coach Brady Starkey and student athletes Mary Slinger, a senior from Faribault, Minnesota, and Maggie McNamara, a senior from Zimbrota, Minnesota. Coach Starkey, would you please begin with an opening statement about tonight's match? Um, well, I guess I'd just like to start by usual uh, congrats to West Texas on a phenomenal season, a uh, phenomenal year, and Coach Scoach has a great job taking his team. Um, pretty much unbelievable to kind of go in and, you know, take a team right off the bat and be able to make the, you know, the national final match. So congratulations to him and his girls. He has some incredible players. Uh, they play phenomenal defense, and it was that was a fun. It was a fun battle. So it was frustrating for us, I think, offensively, just to watch how good they played defense. On a side note, I'm still out of breath uh, a little bit, but for us, I I just was really pleased with how far hard we fought. You know, I thought our defense was great tonight. Um, you know, they did a lot of things to make it so that we weren't able to be as offensive as we normally are. And I'm just really proud of how well we scrapped on defense to get our win this way. So hats off to them. And then I also want to say congrats to these two because well, they're pretty much unbelievable. So. Thank you, Coach. We'll now open it for questions for Coach Starkey and the student athletes. Again, please state your name and affiliation prior to your question. And again, please make sure your cell phones are turned off. Thank you. Um, to be honest, you know, get kids that just put it out there every single night. You know, I think it's no secret for a coach. I don't really think it's us. I think it's, you know, I think you should be asking that to our players. It's their secret. So they're the ones that every single night that we played, regardless of who we were playing, played hard like they would play in practice every day. And so, you know, it's just hats off to them. They just love to play. They get out there and compete every time they step on the court. It's fun to watch and really, really fun to coach. Manny, can you talk a little bit about, <clears throat> about your decision-making process? You've got five people out there that can, that can terminate. How do you go about distributing the ball? Um, I try to find, well, we have five people that can terminate the ball. And so it's extremely hard, first off. Um, you can pick anyone and not make a bad decision. Um, but during the game, I just try to find the hitter that's hot or the hitter that we need to get energy from, you know, like Sadie. She always gives us energy. So it's always, you know, good to set her to get some energy and uh, where the block goes and what they're good at playing defense. So it's kind of, you kind of take all that in, but I mean, I can't make a bad decision with all the hitters I have. So it's not that hard to <laughs> set them, I guess. <laughs> so. I think we had all the tools we needed. I mean, we had a you know, well-rounded team, five great hitters, a great defense, libero, you know. Um, I don't it definitely wasn't like our goal at the beginning of the season to be undefeated. It was just to win another national championship, but um, you know, it's great that we did that along the way, I guess. Mary, talk a little bit about what you saw in the back row. Um, Melissa Harper, one of their hitters, talked about how frustrating it was for her personally to, to find places to put the ball because you guys moved the block over, over to her very well. And when it wasn't, she said that the defense always seemed to be there. Yeah, um, that's definitely kind of what happened. Our, <clears throat> excuse me, our blockers did a, a great job adjusting to um, her style of play. And um, when she did get um, past the block and stuff, I thought we did a good job defending her. And, 
um, trying to keep the ball off the floor. I'm not, that was our goal the entire night. You know, it's our, it's our goal going in any match. Keep the ball off the floor. Whatever you got to do. So I, we frustrated her in that way. So. Yeah, I, magical is a good word. I like that. Um, it really brought us together. And last season, um, ending on that kind of a note with uh, winning here and then um, keeping the streak going with the winning. I mean, it's kind of in the back of our mind, but when we brought th these girls together, we just had a great group of girls and we just had a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it kind of just turned into a magical thing. Perfect. Yeah, what more could you ask for? Mm. There, it, I, yeah, perfect is the only word I can come up with. It, to, you can't ask for anything more. Yeah, the season, everything has gone great. I mean, undefeated is one thing, but the girls that we're playing with, I have a chance to play with two of my really great friends as seniors, you know, we're just out there having a lot of fun and being successful. Brady, it's obviously you've got, you had three great seniors on this team, including these two, but talk a little bit a little bit about the youth you have in the team. I mean, you've got some big hitters, and they're all young kids that are going to be back for a couple of years. Well, I think uh, you know we got pretty lucky in the off season. Uh, Megan Carlson coming in filled a huge void from a kid we had named Whitney Murado last year, um, and pretty very similar style of players. Uh, both can handle the ball really well, so she kind of just took over that role and has done a great job. You know, so she's you know offensively she's fantastic. But more than anything for us, it's, you know, serve receive. I mean, she sees so many balls on serve receive that it's incre it's ridiculous. I mean, like, she's basically doubled the amount of Taylor and Mary, who are our other two serve receivers. So, like, for her to pass the way she passes when teams are going after her every single night as tough as they can, pretty impressive by her. So we're excited that she's back because she's half of our serve receive. So. That's a that's a big thing for us um, with losing Mary and stuff. So, um, but you know the freshman middle, you know, she's she's just a freak. She just keeps getting better and better every day. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, her hitting has been great all year. Like in terms of just being able to plop balls down because she gets one on ones all over the place um, because of Mags and because of our passing, and so she terminates well. But then all of a sudden, you know, in this tournament, she all of a sudden is like something clicked and she's starting to be able to block balls. And that's just scary. I mean, she's she's going to be really good. So, you know, and she wants to be great. So, you know, I think that with the young kids that we have, you know, they kind of have the same mentality of these guys, which I really like am fired up about because, you know, these guys have basically shown them what it takes. And those girls seem to want to do the exact same thing in terms of how hard these guys have worked. Um, those girls want to do that as well. So, so it's, it's just fun. It's fun to have kids like that in the gym to go and coach every day. So our gym is my favorite place to be because how hard our girls work every day. So I think that anybody that in here can attest if you've actually walked by our gym and saw, saw our practices and stuff, you'd be, you'd be impressed with the work ethic that these girls put in every day. So. It's fun. <laughs> Did I say that it was fun? Because it, it's fun. <laughs> are, they, are there any final questions for Concordia? The 2009 NCAA Division II National Champion, Concordia University, St. Paul, Golden Bears. Thank you.